Hi, welcome to this free case study. I want to show you how to make an affiliate page and how to make the bonus page to go with it. Now, this is for a new product that's coming out. Uh, I'm going to be promoting it. It's uh, stop motion videos. Pretty cool little deal. Uh, they're like the old movie animations in the 60s and late 70s. It's uh, stop camera animation. Uh, so they'll place an object, they'll move it around, and they take pictures at each stop. Um, and it makes a really great effect, especially for video ads, because it's, it's a unique uh, video, and they allow enough space to have writing on the side or a call to action. So take a look at the, the review after it's all done, and hopefully you'll like it. So let's get started. Now, this is Commission Gorilla, and I use Commission Gorilla a lot for... Uh, my promotions on affiliate promotions and tomorrow we're gonna have a very uh, tomorrow being Thursday the uh, that will be Thursday the 14th at 3 p.m. Central Time 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time and I'm gonna go over four affiliate secrets <laughs> of how I use Commission Gorilla so let's get started I'm gonna build a affiliate page from scratch. Now, before I get started, let me show you something that I've done is I've added some bonuses in the library and I put them in a folder specifically for stop motion. And so I'll show you what the folder looks like. So these are bonuses that either they gave us or, or I had some extra um, content bonuses that I was going to give away. Uh, so you can take a look at these. So this is the image. Whenever you get the product and you go in and get the bonus page uh, this the bonus link will be on the bonus page so let's take a look at what I've done here and it's real quick to do this uh, main thing is you want an 800 width image and it could be any height so you upload your image give it a name and put it in the category and the delivery block I always just leave it set to white um, it's however you want to uh, uh, make it but uh, this is the delivery block down here this is the background color is white you could make it black if you want or gray I just leave it white all the time and then so you'll modify these words and then you'll put the link to the bonus whether it's a PDF or it's a video you can even do you YouTube video links in here whatever the link is you'll just go into your link source and, and change it and then you'll put in right here your five new PowerPoint templates now the way I do it is I always just copy that bonus name come down here and it in the default it says access your product or service below and so I always just highlight over it and just go all the way over here and then paste it and then you hit save and you've created a bonus now the cool thing with this is you don't have to build your bonus page. Uh, Commission Gorilla builds it all for you based on your bonuses and how you have them set up. And if you got the bonus, um, if you got the upsells, uh, you'll see the done for you packs. This is the done for you version two 10 pack. And you can take a look at any of these here. Like this is a Google Display Network hacks. And so you can slide this bonus in to any affiliate offer that you want. Okay, let's get to building pages. Now I'm going to go over here to, I can start with a brand new page here. And this is starting from scratch, a blank sheet of paper. Uh, we're video marketers. We don't have time to start from a blank sheet of paper. <laughs> so let's go over to my pages here. And I'm going to choose a template to clone. Now, I can come in here and clone any of the promotions I've done before. As you can see, I've got two pages of promotions here. And just while you're on here, let me, let me show you real quick. This, this is the date. These are raw page visits, unique page visits, how many click through to the sales page button, and how many bought. Now, this is not as accurate as it should be because some people buy the product and they never come back and get the bonuses. Usually I have found that's about 50%. So I probably sold four units out of 11 click-throughs. So my 
conversion rate is probably uh, 12% here. But take a, uh, this is webinar income system. I had 15 sales here, and I think the, the final selling price was like $97. I mean, it's, uh, and, and I did this a uh, year ago on, in June. Uh, again, I had, I sent traffic to it. This is uh, how many people uh, clicked and how many people bought, and this is the conversion rate. So you can always preview it. You can stop it from being, you can just pause the promotion, and I'll show you what happens when you pause later. Okay, so you can clone any of these or you can clone any of these. So I'm going to go to best practices. Now, this is probably a great way for you to start out. So I'm going to hit clone. And it's going to copy the best practices template. And it tells you it needs to be changed. So here's what you do. You go over here to page settings, change the name. I'm going to call it stop motion. Express review. Now, I made one yesterday, and so I'm just going to call this just stop motion review. Okay. Now, this is where your affiliate link, your JVZoo link, would go in here. So I'm going to put my. Now, what I do is I don't put a direct JVZoo link because I want to track my links. So, what I have is I have a pretty link that actually goes to the JVZoo link. Now that way I can accurately tell on Pretty Links how many people actually clicked on this page and went through to the JVZoo. So I can compare it to the stats I get here. And at any time if they ever change the page, I don't have to come back in here. I'll just go to Pretty Link and change that link. So that's why I do this instead of the direct JVZoo here. Okay. Now this right here is where you want to put your pause page. So if you ever pause it, um, I want to go to my promos page. So if I ever pause the promotion, the JVZoo, they're not selling it anymore, or, or else it, it doesn't match up to what you need, or uh, whatever the reason is, is you pause it on that dashboard, it's going to go to this link right here. Or if there's ever a problem, a 404, it will go here also. Now, custom code, this is where you're going to put your analytics, your retargeting pixels. Guys, this is one of my secrets here. Put your retargeting pixel in here. This is the same as a website, so you want to be able to track when people visit this page. So once that's done, I'm just going to go here, here and hit save. And let's go on further on down here. We can look at the Crow features. You can put attention bars and exit redirect if you want, and a countdown timer. So if you bought the pro features, you can get all this in here also. And SEO features. This is where you'll want to define what you're selling. Well, this is stop motion, so I'm going to um, call it stop motion. And then the Facebook text, I'll just put in here some text I have on, on my notepad here. And same for here, SEO keywords, probably want to put stop motion in here. Probably want to put a review and maybe your name. The reason I put my name is I want to have Google, when it crawls everything, to start relating my name as a brand, and that, that helps my branding. So again, I'm just going to hit save. You don't have to do it between every time, but I, I just like to save it all the time <laughs> because I have some power issues up here that my computer decides to go out. I want to make sure it's saved. Okay, page colors. This is just like any website. You can change the colors. You can put a background image in there. Um, and you can have it tiled if you if you want to have it tiled. I think, yeah, it doesn't allow you verticals or horizontal tiling. So think of it this way: as you could put uh, some type of um, uh, product image in there, or or some suggestive image um, that you might want to put in there. Guys, typically I either make it 
I use colors. I, I don't even mess with this because speed is the most important thing in affiliate marketing. You want to have momentum to your promotions and you do it by having fast affiliate page creation and bonus creation. So I, I go as fast as I can. I don't even think about this. So I will cut, close that and bonus delivery page. Now you can give it a uh, bonus page file name and let's just call it and if you got a split test uh, monkey you can also put your code in here now the delivery page header you can change this around you can put images I just keep it standard it's it, thank you download your bonuses below I can't can't be any more descriptive than that but if you want to put an image you want to put a secondary selling opportunity a call to action in here you're certainly welcome to uh, this gives you a lot of flexibility. Okay, so now we've kind of gone over the settings. I'm going to hit save again. And let's take a look at the page now because we're going to be modifying the page. So there's the first video. That's where you would put your review video. And here's the buttons. Anytime you click on these buttons, we've gone into page settings and put our link. So the button's are already set up in there, and that's kind of the neat thing. And here's your bonus blocks in here. And they put blocks in between, or buttons in between each of the bonus blocks. Great way you always want to be pushing them to the sales page. Now, if you bought the OTO with the sales page bypass, you can actually bypass their sales page. So if you have a really a, a crappy looking sales page, but the product is great, and guys, let me tell you a secret. The, some of the best coders in the world, the best software that you can buy, they didn't have, have a marketer, they didn't spend any money on the sales page, and it looks like crap. <laughs> That's the one that you want to bypass and make a really nice looking page here. You've got templates that you can copy and just bypass their sales page. Go straight to the JVZoo uh, shopping cart page or the ClickBank shopping cart page. I've done that before and uh, it's it's a slick little deal because it looks like you own the product then. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start editing this. And I've, I've got a notepad, just so you see I have a notepad here. And on the notepad is I have all the content I'm going to put in. I've already... Uh, I've already kind of set it up just to make it speedy because you don't want to watch me type all this stuff. And just so you know what time it is, because I'm going to time it, 3.29 is the clock right now. So let's just put that right there. And we're going to try to get this done in about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go change the highlight bar here. And this tells you kind of what you want to put in here. So it, it's kind of little hints. So I just want to paste that in there. And if you want to highlight some of it, make it bold, make it italics. I'm going to back here and turn that bolding off. Okay, so that's how easy it is to do formatting. Now, you can go in here in the settings and change the background color. And you want it contained within the, the, the width of the page. So just pick, put contained there, or you can go 85% width, the full page width, or use it as a background. Guys, again, we're back to speed. Keep it contained. And you can select, these are uh, instant text blocks that you can put in there about clearing cookies, um, submitting bonus claims, affiliate disclaimers. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to insert any of that right now. I'm just going to hit OK. And now my next section is discover how to get major. So I'm going to copy another section out and come over here. Because it's copied out a notepad into here, I don't have to worry about reformatting it. I'll just keep it in their format. And go down here. And the cool thing is, is you can just edit some of this stuff without ever having to even uh, retype anything or start from scratch. And that's what I like about this. Now, 
the video, I want to go in here on the settings, and I put mine in Vimeo. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mr. Anybody over here. I'm going to teach you a little bit about them. Blah, 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 blah. That's their demo there. Hey, Mr. Okay. So I set it on autoplay inside of Vimeo. That, that's why it's uh, started out automatically. I don't have to do anything here. But um, what you want to do is you want to change that button text. So I just clicked on the settings. Uh, claim here to get... Um, I'll say the videos... And your bonuses. And again, you can make it any color. You can make it a gradient color. You can even have a secondary line here. Um, and so you can even have a secondary line in there. Click OK. And down here, important. I, I'm going to just basically delete this. Now, you could, if you had bought the Pro Upgrade, you could put timers in here. So whenever the launch ends, you can put a timer in here. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but I just kind of want to show you. Now, this is what they're kind of suggesting, the, a product shot in here. Here's a quick summary of the benefits of using the product and service. Uh, get XYZ right now and get all the bonuses below. So let's come in here. Oops. Hit stop motion right now and get all the bonuses below. Now, I'm also going to put a demo. And I'm going to put, here's a quick demo. Here's a few quick demos that I made. Okay. And we'll spell things right. Okay. So, now what I want to do is I'm just going to delete all this. And fix that. Okay. Now, I want to put some videos in here. And I want to, I'm going to come over to the block settings. Now, this is where all the drag and drop comes in. You don't have to be a page builder or a web designer. So I'm just going to put some blocks in here to start separating things. You'll see why in just a second. Okay, now I want to drag a video in here. And my video, my first video is my, I made three demos. So here is going to be the first demo. Copy the iframe over from Vimeo. And I'll come down here and grab another video and put it right there. And I'm going to grab my second demo. I think I only have two demos, so I'm going to come back and change that. Okay. Yep. So I don't need all these spacers in here. And you can come in and change the spacer. Let's say you want it 40 here. So you don't need all the spacer blocks in there. And I'll just come back here. Um, I'm going to delete this here. And give this a little bit of spacing. Let's do 30. And I'm going to come over here and just say here's a of quick demos that I made to show you how easy it is to use these videos. And I'll just knock that out there.
Okay, so that looks pretty good. And again, I'm just going to save it occasionally. I've got a couple demos in there, so you can kind of see what it is. Now, my objective is educate the consumer coming in, give them a good, honest review of what's going on. Hey, this is Damon Nelson with Vid Penguin. And I'll turn that off. And now, what I'm going to do here is I had bought the upgrade. So I'm going to come down here on my, um, my power-ups. And I'm going to put the review block in here. And on the review block, let's go in and I'm going to change the color to kind of match the button colors. There we go. And get my squeaky chair going on here. And so I'm going to fill in all this stuff real quick. Just pause the video as it's going. Okay, now once you have all the content in here, now you just come in and you put your scores in here. Now, quality of the videos, I'd say they're 98%. Ease of use. Real easy to use. I'm going to give that 100. Range of niches. It's pretty good. It's not great. I mean, I mean in the first 50, you got a pretty good range of niches, but could it be better? Yes. So that's why I get a score 90. Not bonuses. All right, let's give them about an 88 uniqueness factor. It is truly unique. I'm going to give it a 99. So now I'm going to hit OK. Yep. Before I do that, I'm going to hit grab my green here. And actually, I'm going to make it blue just to make it stand out a little bit. And the criteria text color is white and summary text color is white and headline color. OK, so I've got all that. And I want to make the background match up with this. So let's Go in here and I know my background color, block color is what I need. And let's make that white. Let's make the headline colors black. So let's. See what that looks like. There we go. It's okay. Um, probably change it back if, if I want to. So I'm going to put in another spacer block in here. And let's see what, make sure spacer is 444 contained. Okay. Contained. Let's give that a 40 also. And I'm going to move that up here. Give that some spacing in between. And that's about all I need here. So I don't need that title box there. So I'm going to come over here. Oops. Okay, come back up here. Give it one more spacer block in here. which is right here, and give it 40. And what I'm doing is I'm isolating the button. So it kind of matches up, it's symmetric. Okay, a couple quick demos, we're done there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to here, and I'm gonna start putting my bonuses in. Okay, so I'm only going to do about four bonuses so you know what it looks like. So bonus one, put it right here and make that black. Now I'm going to come over here, oops, I made the wrong thing black there. Make the text color black. Make the background white. There we go. Come over here and remember I had already set up a folder of just the bonuses. So I'm going to come down here to Stop Motion Express and that's Animated Avatar. So I'm going to hit Select. And there we go. Now again, you can change the titles here, but just for speed I'm going to jump through it. 
and I'll come back and change this later before it's final. Uh, bonus number two. Come over here, put in bonus number two. Again, I need to come over here, make that black. Bubbles. And another uh, sales page button here. So let's go in here and now we're going to do shapes. Come here. I'm going to go into shapes. Okay. And bonus number four, we got five bonuses we'll put in here. Uh, badges is our next bonus. Come over here and I'll put in badges. See how easy this is to build out your bonus page or your bonuses? And I'll show you when, when we get done here, here's what it's created for you. Not only have you built the landing page, your review page, but you've also built a bonus page at the exact same time without doing anything. So now let's get our last bonus we're going to copy today. And I'm going to come over here and change that color black to back, black, and select. Okay. Now, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put in this content. And if you want to bullet them. go and let's make them bold too and let's call it $197 I don't know what it adds up to $197 get stop motion videos today okay so we have almost finished here there's the final button there and let's modify this. Now they're kind of giving us some clues. There we go. And help us spread the word. Now let's go in here. And those are your share buttons. And you can change the Twitter text if you want right there. And here's your legal stuff. I'm just going to delete it this time because it, they're not going anywhere. And here's your affiliate disclaimer. Now, I always like to put in here um, how to how to get this is you have to buy through my affiliate page. So I want to put an image in here. And I want to put in some text first. I'll maybe put a spacer in here. Give it about 50 here. And come over here and grab my notice here. And let's center justify it. And we bold it. And also make it about a heading two. Let's make it a bigger head, a heading one. Fun. Okay. Now, the last thing, I'm going to put my image here. And come in over here. And now you need to have it in a Dropbox or somewhere stored on, on the web, online. I always just use my Dropbox. Don't put, and here's a link for an image. I, I always take that out. Okay. So it says to get these bonuses, affiliate code should be 243157. There you go. 
I am completely done and ready, so I'm going to hit save and exit. We have made a a bonus page. Uh, I mean, this this is our landing page that we want to send traffic to. This is our review of the product. So I've copied the link. Come over here to Incognito and new private window. Hey, this is Damon Nelson with the Penguin, and now I've made a complete bonus review page. See how all this works? Just beautiful, beautiful. And here's the two demos. Here's the bonuses. And I've copied everything. We're doing good on time here. So this page right here, I could copy over it, clone it over and over and over again and keep using it and change whatever affiliate promotion I'm doing. And it doesn't have to be an internet marketing. It could be anything because you those bonuses go for anything. Anything that you would deliver a bonus page to. ClickBank products, JVZoo products, uh, Zaxa uh, products, Thrivecart. Uh, this is, works great in the Thrivecart. So that's the landing page. Now let me show you what we did with the bonus page. This is really cool here. I'm going to copy that link. Go back and paste it in here. Now, whenever they're in JVZoo, they bought the product, at the bottom of the page, uh, there is a receipt and it says uh, bonuses from vendor or from uh, affiliate and it's at the very bottom and that's where you would put your link to this page here this link right here okay this is how the bonuses are delivered now we didn't do any of this during our uh, build out it's all automatically created based on the bonus library that you've already set up so you could even do webinars in here, you can do YouTube videos, you, anything that has a link online is you can create a bonus with. Uh, so, uh, and, and if it's, let's say it's a YouTube with a, and it's private, and you have a secret access code. Well, you put the link here and then put your secret access code right here, okay? It's really that easy. And guys, this thing is, the reason I, I am promoting it and I'm, I'm very passionate about it is I use this. I use this daily, like I mentioned early on. Um, it's it's a pretty cool deal. And it, the best way to learn it, watch this video again and just do it over and over and over again and it gets really easy. And the cool thing about all this is once you have something that you really like, and here's what I do. I sort by conversion rate. What? Which one? This had about an 18 percent. Now this was a. This one I didn't promote very heavily, except to people that actually knew what co-embed was. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna discount this one. But speed leads review had a lot of people hit it, and it had a very high conversion. So what that's telling me is, my review page was good, and the sales page was really good too. Anthony Ayer's blog, Bucks, Blueprint, that's hard to say fast. Uh, this was off of a webinar. Um, had a great conversion. So I'm kind of looking at which ones had the best conversion. So uh, this is a good conversion. So let's look at the, uh, at the bonus crate. Okay. Uh, this is my review of speed leads. Mention, there's the review block, how to use speed leads. I actually put in training on how to use it. And there's the buy button again. And then the demo video speed leads. This is something that they provided JVs. So you could put their stuff in there also. Fill it disclaimer. Guys, this was a very simple page. And I'll go back to this. It netted 33 cells. Let's say it's Half of them didn't show up, so let's say it's 66 sales. Speed leads average between the front end and the upsell. The average was about $45 to $50. So 33, and let's 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 just say that I had 40 sales with an average of $50. Uh, that's a $2,000 promotion right there. I, I mean, if you want to make money 
this is one of the easy ways of doing it is promote affiliate offers. And again, they don't have to be in internet marketing. They could be in anything that is sold online. You can create a bonus offer with it with your review. And the review could be either in YouTube or Vimeo. And put some text in there and drive traffic to that review page. And if you're a video marketer or vid penguin, you know how to rank videos, hopefully, by now. If you don't, uh, check out our Vid Penguin training and I'll teach you. <laughs> this is how I, this is what I do with launch jacking. I send them to these pages. I also have optimized press pages that I use that sometimes the, uh, the product creator will actually build out the optimized press. So I won't use it in this, I won't use Commission Grill in this case. But uh, this is, I've been using this for, let's see since May of 2016, so a little over a year and a half, and I've, I've made a lot of sales. <laughs> so you can too, and that's the important thing, is um, you can make sales doing this. And I will see you tomorrow on the webinar, and hopefully I didn't go too long on this video. Bye-bye.